Now today I'm going to show you how to fillet sea bass. Now this is a very simple thing to do. Um, you only need a few things and that is obviously your fish, a chopping board, a fish filleting knife, some little tweezers and some scalers. Now what I'm going to do, I caught this fish last night, I gutted it last night, I've had it in the fridge overnight so all I'm going to do is give it a little rinse, I'm going to fill the sink with water, descale it and then I'll take you through the process of filleting it. Now all you're going to need for this is something to scale the fish like these. These are absolutely ideal. These just brush along the back of the fish and take all the scales off which I'll show you in a second. I've got just some little tweezers here to take the pin bones out and we've got a fish filleting knife now. It's uh, best to use a, a proper fish filleting knife. As you can see that's a flexi blade there so that allows you to work along the bone of the fish and get all that meat off with uh, very little waste. So first things first, we've just filled our sink with some cold water. Now you want to make sure that this is actually cold water um, and you just want enough just to cover the fish. Now the reason for this is when I'm scaling it, obviously those scales are going to come off everywhere. And by doing it in the water, it means they don't splatter all around your kitchen. You can keep them in the sink, drain the water off, scoop the scales out and dispose of them properly. So we'll get this fish scaled now. And it really is quite simple, just running it down the back of the fish, taking all those scales off. And you want to get right up until the head there, and this just makes it easier for when you're filleting the fish. So we can flip it round, and then we go over the back like that and now that's all done we'll do the other side now you can also do this with the back of a knife but having some of these specifically for this job makes your life a lot easier So here we have our lovely bass. Now I'd just like to point out this bass is 43 centimetres long. Now the legal minimum size to land a sea bass and keep it in the UK um, is 42 centimetres. So if you're out catching bass um, on your own and you don't know the, the minimum landing size is 42 centimetres, anything below that length has to be put back. Now what you can do is, if you wish to, you can cut the fins off just with a pair of scissors. However, because I've scaled this now, I'm just going to take this fillet off and then I'll flip it over and take the other side off. And it's very simple. As I said, you've got your filleting knife here and you're just going to start at the back of the head like that and run the knife down all the way to the back. And all you're doing is following the spine here. Now if you push the knife into the spine, it gives you a nice uh, line to follow and you should be able to get a nice clean cut all the way down the fish. So that's the first step. Now what you can do is just go over it and you go all the way down to the bottom of the tail there and then as you can see you can slightly open it up. So once you open it up you just insert your knife like that and then you carry on down the line down the back of the boat uh, the back of the spine there and you just follow it all the way down. So I like to take the the end of the tail off like that first and you're just following that that skeleton all the way down now once you get to the top of the fish like this you come towards sort of the rib cage here now these bones flex and they curve round so what you can do is put your knife into the bone and push down into it and you can follow that around the rib cage and then you just want to make an incision like that and then you go around the top of the head and then there is your first fillet so as you can see you've left all the meat on there and we'll trim this up afterwards and then we'll make that into some lovely fillets ready for cooking
Quite simply with the other side, we just flip the fish over and then this time we're gonna go from tail to head. We'll make an incision just like that. And then you can run the back of your knife down. Again, just following that spine all the way down to the tail. And then you can slightly open it up and work the knife back. And then the reason for the flexi knife like this, you can push into the fish push into the fish and just work your knife down. And then again, once you get to the top of the fish like this, just push your knife into that bone. And these bones, as I said, curve round like that. So by pushing into it, you're not taking, you're not wasting any of the meat on the fillet here. And then around to the head. So we just make cut round there and that's our second fillet. Now with the frame you can do anything you like, you can freeze this down to use for stock in the future, you can use it for crab pots or anything like that, so it's entirely up to you. So now I've got the ball cleaned up a little, this is what you were left with. Now these are your two fillets here and all we're going to do now is we're just going to trim them up. Now by that, all I mean is, as you can see on here, we have a bone running down there. You also have little pin bones that run down the centre here. And all of this light white skin here is just sinew. So all we do is lay the fillet down like that. And by pressing into the fish, you're just taking the very top layer of that sinew off. We'll just do that down the side of the fish, trim it up. And we'll just trim the very end of the tail off there. Dispose of the, uh, the little bits there. And that's basically your fillet ready to go. Now I will pin bone this in a second, but before I do that, I'm just gonna score the skin. And this is just for when I cook it. By scoring the skin like this, and you don't wanna pierce too deeply into it. All that does is when you're cooking it and you always cook uh, fish skin side down, it prevents the, the, the fish from folding up like that when it hits the heat of the pan. So just by putting little scores in it like that, it allows the heat to get in and that skin can just bend that little bit more. Now, down the center of the fish, we have tiny little pin bones here. Now, by running your finger down, you'll be able to feel the tips of them. So if you just run your finger down the center of the fish like that, you can feel the pin bone and hopefully you can just grab the end of it and you just pull out like that. Now that's the little pin bones and it's, it's easier to take these out because you don't want to be eating it and be choking on one of them. Now alternatively what you can do is you can just cut a V shape down the center of the fillet like that to remove all the bones. But by pin boning them with a little pair of tweezers, it just allows you to keep as much fish on there as possible. You, you know, this fish has died for a reason. You wanna maximize everything you get out of it. So that's probably the best way. So quite simply, that is it. That's the two fillets ready for cooking. Now you can cut these in half, you can cut them into little pieces. It's completely up to you depending on what you do, but that is the easiest way to fillet fresh bass. 
So that's all there is to it. Two fillets ready to go. Easy, simple, in a few minutes time. Now I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please head over to the channel, take a look at the videos and consider subscribing. Now, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Um, there's plenty of fishing videos on my channel, so go check them out and see you on the next one.